One of my, my biggest frustrations with spring gardening is my consistent inability to rid my vegetable garden of weeds. For some reason, no matter how hard I try, no matter the technique I use, they seem to always grow back a couple weeks later every year, even though I'm pretty sure I pulled out every last one. Although the chances of me becoming a professional gardener are very low, my failed garden story due to weed regrowth has strong parallels to what can happen to cancerous regrowth in our bodies. Around 40% of women who go through breast tumor removals in Canada will leave their surgery with breast cancer cells remaining in their bodies. One of the major concerns with these cells is that they can spread throughout their body or regrow into a new aggressive tumor. These women will get called back into surgery to remove the regrowth, which disrupts their life once again and reintroduces fears of cancer that were once gone. The reason this happens is because breast tumors are not palpable, meaning surgeons can't feel them or see any difference in the tissues in front of them. Giving surgeons real-time information about the tissues they're cutting into would allow these thousands of women and their families to have peace of mind and reassurance that the first time they go remove cancer is the last. The Intelligent Knife, also known as the Eye Knife, is a revolutionary mass spectrometry machine that gives surgeons this kind of real-time information, which allows them to find that fine margin between cancer cells and normal cells during the surgery. The knife portion of the eye knife is the cautery device, as you can see in the top left of the figure. A cautery is a knife that burns tissue when cutting through it. This creates a smoke that then gets aspirated through the mass spectrometer. From this smoke, the eye knife can create a chemical profile of the tissue that's currently being burnt. In our research, the tissue that was burnt sent, gets sent to pathology, from which we receive tissue information that we can use to categorize those chemical profiles as either skin, fat, or cancerous tissue. After collecting data from several patients, we can create a database of all of these different chemical profiles. My research is focused on using this database to create an artificial intelligence recognition model, which learns the patterns between and within these different tissue types. Using this recognition model in real time, you'd be able to accurately and consistently identify the smoke being collected by the eye knife. With this model deployed in the operating room, we would be able to tell surgeons if they're cutting through cancer. If they accidentally cut through the tumor, they would get a red alert, as you can see in the bottom of the figure. With this knowledge of that red alert, they would be able to go back to that same location within the same surgery and remove more tissue from that margin until that margin is clear and there's no more cancer left behind. With this innovative technology, women would be able to leave their breast conserving surgeries with the knowledge and peace of mind that all of the cancer was removed the first and only time. Thank you.